name is Michelle Smith and I work for Michigan State University Extension. Today I'm outside on this beautiful spring day and when I think spring, I think asparagus. Asparagus is one of those great vegetables that we only get in the spring, but it's a perennial so it comes back year after year. This asparagus here I got from a farmer down the road. You may buy your asparagus from a market or maybe even in your garden. Asparagus is great vegetable to eat because it's got such great benefits nutritionally. It's got vitamins, it's got minerals, and of course fiber. Now when I bring my asparagus home just like this, and if I'm not going to cook it right away or prepare it right away, then I want to store it. And we need to store it in the refrigerator. And what I have here is a glass jar. By putting just an inch or two inches of water in your glass jar, you place the asparagus spears inside, cover it lightly and put it in the refrigerator, it will stay crisp and crunchy for up to a week. When I'm ready to use my asparagus, I then have to prepare it. And what you have to do is really simple. All you need to do is wash it with cold running water just to get some of that dirt off. And then finding the woody portion of your asparagus spear. The woody portion is the hard chewy portion. And what you do is just bend it a little bit and it breaks off just like that. This would be something fun for your kids or grandkids to do. Once that's done, asparagus then can be prepared in many different ways. Just a few would be grilling, roasting, or even cold in salads. If I were to buy too much asparagus or I've grown a lot in my garden, then I can can it or I can freeze it too. Freezing is really simple. What you do is you prepare it just like you did before by cleaning it. You can cut it up in two inch sections and then you would um, boil them in water. It's called blanching. And you would boil them for two to four minutes depending on the size of the asparagus. And then drying it off with a paper towel or a clean towel and then placing it in your freezer, airtight, safe container. Make sure you label and date and you are all set for the next time you want asparagus. I hope this gives you some great ideas and tips about asparagus and I hope you go out and get your asparagus this spring. Bye-bye.